We all could benefit from keeping our brains healthy. You know, there's a whole lot of things that can happen to the brain. And if you live long enough, uh, the chances of having Alzheimer's disease, dementia, is like almost 50-50. If you live to 85, it's between a third and a half of people have Alzheimer's disease, dementia. And so there's, there's something that might happen. And if someone has that history of getting their head hit over and over and over again, first of all, they shouldn't be worried that they're going to get CT. And they could be hit by a truck. Or they could live every day with lots of laughter and joy and productivity. The things that people can do are to maintain a, a healthy diet to keep their brains healthy, things that reduce risk for um, uh, problems to uh, the heart are helpful for the brain's health. Keeping oneself active, exercising regularly, aerobic exercise on a regular basis, maintaining intellectual activity, stimulation, getting involved with things, keeping oneself socially active, reducing toxins uh, to, to our, our brains through things like um, diabetes and uh, having hypertension and cholesterol. Those things can result in problems to our blood vessels in our brain that can uh, lead to all kinds of brain problems later on. So what can you do? There's no magic pill right now. It's just keeping healthy. Living every day to its fullest. Not because of a fear of CTE, but because that's how we have to live. There's all kinds of diseases and disorders and problems and things that can go on. CTE is just one of them. <laughs> 